As we've already got the wild dog pack, they seem to be fairly relaxed. Most of them are still sleeping and um, they got up a little bit and there was a bit of a commotion as we arrived. There's some impalas close by that unfortunately got a massive fright and just bombshelled off into every direction, as you would if you are an impala and there are wild dogs about. And so now everybody's just starting to settle back down again. Most of the pack has actually moved behind me and under some shady trees. Not that they need shade in the overcast conditions that we have, but at least it is what it is. Now, you can see that most of them are still lying down and fairly sleepy and I would imagine that they will eventually start to wake up as the afternoon progresses. Wild dogs generally are animals that hunt mostly in the sunrise and sunset times. It's very seldom that you'll find wild dogs um, moving around during the middle of the day hunting unless an opportunity really presents itself. In this case there was impalas really close by and they didn't even bother they just ignored it and it's probably because they did have a meal this morning but with the frenzied activity that we saw this morning where there was this mating and this carrying on and chasing each other around which seems to still be carrying on because when I arrived there was more of the same it means that they probably will burn through that impala quite quickly and you'll find that they're going to be then out and hunting around sunset time again although today is not going to be much of a sunset and it'll be actually really good conditions for wild dogs to start hunting I would say just before it gets dark because this cloudy overcast windy weather means that impalas are not going to hear the first thing coming their way it's also going to be a little bit darker than normal and the dogs will then use that to their advantage so it should be a productive afternoon with them there's also some hope of a leopard this afternoon i believe tundi for those of you who've been wondering where our female leopards are at well tundi i believe is on a kill on chitwa whether or not we're going to get signal where the kill is is anyone's guess it's going to be a test of our new mast and see if it actually works we will head in that direction a little bit later we've obviously got to give time to the chitwa vehicles to have their chance there first we also out a little bit earlier than what they are so we need to wait a little bit and that's why we came to the dogs first but we will head in that direction see if we can catch up with Tundi there's also the obvious um, chance of Tumba around Mulawati as well where he was seen this morning briefly too so there's lots happening there's lots going on and lions wise well I'm afraid I think we might have to leave those to the Mara this afternoon they seem to get the lions covered pretty much most days and this side no signs of lions anywhere then Kuma Pride apparently have gone into Manuleti and the Birmingham boys are spread out all over the place and the Torchwood Pride still on Biffles Hook so no sign of lions anywhere near Juma or Chitwa at this stage, but that's okay. We have the most endangered carnivore that we see here. So we're super excited to have these guys. It's been so long since we've spent time with the wild dogs and really kind of had long periods with them. So I'm super excited just to spend a vast majority of our afternoon with them and then the rest of it with hopefully Tundi and hopefully we will be able to, like I say, show all of you. And that's the plans for the afternoon. It seems like a fairly good plan given the circumstances and, and hopefully we will be able to finish off with like I say a leopard and hyena this afternoon between us and the Mara just to finish off our predator big day basically. Now I am not going to be the only one this afternoon I believe I'm going to be surrounded by ladies this afternoon in the form of Jamie Patterson and Taylor McCurdy so hopefully they both will be in fine spirits and they won't pick on me too much but let's go across to Taylor so she can say good afternoon.